It's a new week and we're at Lowe's and this time of year their clearance rack is growing. Let's go check it out. We have these Asiatic lilies. This one is called Tiny Rocket. And these are wonderful because even though they are out of bloom, which is why they're marked down, and they'll come back for you next year. So this is a shorter Asiatic lily. So this one gets 14 to 16 tall and 12 to 14 wide. And so let's see how much this would be. This is a Monrovia and it is $10.98. So according to this, it would be $7. Here's a steal of a deal. They have the original Endless Summer Hydrangea, and this is a one gallon size. Look at all that new growth. This still looks perfectly good. It just has a little bit of cleanup that's needed, and instead of $21.98, you would pay 50% off. And they just watered it because all of that dripped out when I picked it up. Some Dianthus. This one is called Fruit Punch Maraschino and it would be 50% off, so this would be around $6.50. Again, has a lot of good foliage in here. You just have to clean it up and plant it, and it would come back for you next year. A little water, a little TLC. They have a bunch of May Night Salvia. This is such a hardy salvia. In fact, it's what I have in my garden. $8.98, 50% off. This would take you to about $4.50, and look at this. It looks perfectly good. Just some dry foliage to clean up. And all you have to do is cut off all of these spent blooms, put this in the ground. You may even get a second flush this year. This variety gets to be 18 by 18, tall and wide. If you haven't gotten around to your summer containers yet, you can still get a hanging basket, 50% off, and it looks like it's in great shape. All you have to do is clean it up. So $26.98, and this would be 50% off, so about 13 bucks. And look at this, it's perfectly fine. You just take off all of these spent blooms. You can even cut them back a little if you think they're getting too scraggly, which this one isn't at that point yet. Some water, maybe some fertilizer, good to go some dwarf coreopsis. This one's called Nana. And it gets 8 to 12 inches high and 8 to 12 wide. And again, looks pretty good. Sometimes the plants on clearance look like they're really on the verge of death. Not these. Today they look really good. Just a little cleanup necessary and maybe a little bit of water. These actually, I'm sticking my finger in the dirt right now and it's, it's definitely been watered. So, good sign. I got my Coreopsis at Lowe's. It was the Moon Moonbeam or Moonlight. It's a light yellow, and I got it for a dollar back when they did their different clearance sale structure. A Super Tunia Vista Bubblegum. And these, all you have to do, they're so resilient and um, robust that all you have to do is give this thing a little haircut. And actually, this one doesn't even look like it needs one. It looks like somebody probably went through and cleaned it up already. Um, plant it give it some sun and this thing gets pretty good size so it says the height is 18 I'm sorry 12 to 24 inches height and the spacing is about 18 inches and at 598 this one would be I believe four dollars yep this one would be four bucks so instead of 598 you pay four they also have this um, Super Bell's Tropical Sunrise Calabrocoa for $4. These actually look like they're in really good shape. This is a great deal. They have some of these Monrovia uh, Clematis on clearance. And these are over $15, which means they would be 50% off. So this $17 Clematis would be about $8.50. And it has a, I mean, it's just past its bloom, so it has a couple of like older leaves, but in general, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. And I think I'm going to consider this one to take home. Look at that, it's so pretty. They have a bunch more up here. Let's see what other varieties. This one's really beautiful. It's called Rutel. And let's see here. 
it gets um, how big does this one get four to six feet tall with support so nice and compact really pretty color they also have this really pretty pink one with the darker pink stripe it's called Pilu let's see how big this one gets this one is about six feet tall some really good looking a still be on the clearance rack. Look at that, it's unique. Lilac is still be. And this one gets 12 to 16 inches high and 12 to 16 wide. Really good deal. So this one, 10.98 would be $7. So $7 for that's not as good a deal. However, this is a pretty good deal. I found this one here. For $8.98, it's a ladies' mantle. There's a lot of new growth. Right in there, and in there. So I would just have to clean off all this dead foliage. And I wanted some more ladies' mantle, so instead of the clematis, this is what I'm taking home. Lots of this beautiful columbine, this light, buttery yellow, for four dollars and this is a perennial so it's gonna come back for you next year and it still looks like it's in really good shape get out there and look at your clearance people this is where the deals are starting when the summer starts to heat up and they have more inventory that they need to move some good deals out there they have this other beautiful variety of clematis this one's called pink climador clematis and this one gets three to six feet tall so beautiful for 850 look how nice it still looks they have some proven winners Shadowland Hosta this is the Wii Shadowland Wii so it's this really pretty Hosta with this um, ruffly kind of foliage and it's seven dollars so I'm gonna pick one up. I wanted one last week, but it was still full price. But how exciting. Look at that. These are perfectly healthy. I think they just have too many. Some more beautiful Columbine. This one's called Early Bird Blue. And it's got a really vibrant purple. $4. And look, all that beautiful foliage. Perennial comes back next year. Some Daisy. This one's called Western Star Taurus Shasta Daisy. And this one is hardy to a zone 5. Gets 18 high by 18 wide. And it would be $4. And it looks beautiful. It still has some buds that need to bloom. So you take this home and plant it. You'll still get flowers this summer. We have a couple more. These are, these daisies are Monrovia. And there's no tag, so I can't tell you the variety. Unless someone just slipped them in the Monrovia container. But they have quite a few of these Shasta daisies. They still have select fruit, flowering, and shade trees on clearance for 50% off, but not the Japanese maples. And this is a really beautiful um, Heritage River birch. Good size. Let's see how much it is. $129. And this is at least a 10 gallon, so it would be 50% off of that. Lots of beautiful annual containers still. These are some geraniums. They look to be in beautiful shape just clean off some of these you know foliage that has a little bit of um, burnt spots or whatnot and these are 50% off because they're over $15 so you would pay about $11.50 for this and if you overwinter it you can have these come back you kind of treat them like a house plant I overwintered three in my basement gave them water maybe once a month um, over by a window and they look great this year have lots of this trailing vinca and this one would be two dollars they have some of this monrovia cadence raspberry dianthus looks to be in really good shape would be about seven dollars 
So these, you know, the, the proven winners, the Monrovia, they're perennials at the 1098 price point. Those you would still pay $7 for. But any of the Lowe's ones that are in that 898 price point, like these blanket flowers here, you would pay $4 for them. So those are actually a way better deal, but they're house brand versus the, you know, national brand. And here's a Lowe's Dianthus. This one is Everbloom Watermelon Ice. So this one would be $4. And it also looks pretty good. Just have to clean up a lot of that dead growth that you see here. The spent stuff. Here's an example of something I wouldn't buy on clearance. See this May Breeze Phlox? It's only $4. And you can see one little sprout of new green growth. But Phlox is notorious. Some of these older varieties are notorious for getting powdery mildew and diseases. So... You could try it for $4, it might be worth the gamble. Cut it all back, give it some, you know, good soil, maybe a little bit of fish emulsion fertilizer, and it might start to flush out for you. But this one, to me, is a little bit more risky, these older varieties of phlox. This one's called May Breeze, and I mean, the picture's pretty, so it looks tempting, but I would probably pass on this one, personally. A couple of uh, weeks back, we did a Lowe's video, and they had this desert eye terracotta yarrow that was in bloom, and it was this beautiful, like, orangey color, um, and then it fades to a yellow, just really pretty. They're on clearance now, and look, they still look fine. They're just past their bloom. They need a little bit of cleanup, and this would be $7. I found this Super Tunia Picasso in Purple Petunia that is marked down to $4. Still looks in really good shape. But I want to give you a comparison here. So if you're new at gardening or just starting out your gardens, um, you might look at this and be like, oh, it's only $4. That's a great deal. And it is. But you can look at this one, which is a perennial and comes back every year. And this one is also $4. So more bang for your buck would be getting the perennial instead of the annual so that you can get something that comes back every year instead of just color for three months. It's absolutely beautiful to have this, you know, to give you summer color. But if you're new and your budget is limited, then opt for the perennial. And then in a few years when you have, you know, a little bit extra because your gardens have been built, then you can splurge on these guys. This rose is a beauty. She's not on clearance. It's 1898. It's called Tournament of Roses. Really pretty. They have select container roses on clearance. It kind of looks like mostly the knockouts, but let's take a closer look. Nope, not just the knockouts because these true bloom are also in this area as are the Easy Elegance. So if you're looking for roses, check out your Lowe's. They might be having a 50% off container, low, uh, container roses sale. Here's what I ended up picking up at Lowe's on clearance. This is the Ladies Mantle Thrilla. Sorry, my accent, it's Thriller. Uh, Alchemilla Mollis and so this is out of bloom now but I picked it up four dollars and there's still a lot of fresh growth in here so I'm gonna go ahead and take about 10 seconds to clean this thing up and show you what a score I got and here we are it took me more like 10 minutes instead of 10 seconds but it was really an actually kind of relaxing and I really enjoyed it cleaning this up and look at all this new growth here and you can see a bunch of shoots in there so I'm really happy with my new four dollar plant it looks really great all the new growth I'm gonna go ahead and give it some water and get it planted in the next few days thanks for hanging out and I'll catch you in the next one